Hi, I'm Nand Kumar, founder and CEO of Suntech. Suntech is in the business of revenue management and business assurance. That's a long word, but just to put it very, very, very simple, we help in uh, financial institutions and banking in, uh, and banks in terms of managing the overall end-to-end -end revenue, but more from a customer-centric perspective. This year, we've been showcasing this product for many years. I mean, we've been into Cybos for many years. And uh, every year, we are adopting the context of what we are doing within the context of the evolution of the financial industry itself. So today, in terms of the fintechs and the onslaught of new technologies, new ideas into the financial services, we are looking at how the customer centricity within the context of banking and financial services and specifically with respect to the financial experience of the customer, how does it impact our new solutions dealing with that both in terms of technological evolutions but also within the banking and business context, how it is about helping banks to deal with that. That's the solution which we are focusing here. When you talk about a transaction, let us go back to a very fundamental uh, aspect of a transaction. Transaction is the value exchange between two people or two entities. So that has got two parts. One is the service experience which you're getting and how much I have to give it to you in terms of value. That is in terms of money. Yeah. So what we are dealing with is that dimension of the transaction. So the value, how much you can make the transaction more value based within the context of you consuming the service of the product. So what we are doing within this context is the, what you call the point of one, the customer as the, as the key uh, center. And then when you can, when, you, when you're do, looking at from that atomicity, you can expand to any level to the whole organization or to a segment or to a market or to a single customer. So what we help in uh, uh, help the banks to do is they can decide the atomicity at which they can uh, deal with the customer as a market or a segment or as a point of point of customer or even for that matter to the extent of an account. We are dealing with some of the largest banks and uh, the deployment is happening on a global scale. So naturally many of these organizations have evolved over many years, they have built up a lot of um, a legacy and also um, a lot of um, siloed systems. So some of the challenges are operational, some of the challenges are the strategic uh, need uh, are the capabilities of the bank to adopt such a, a solution. But I must say that uh, people have evolved quite a lot and today everybody understands the need. And uh, today I wouldn't consider um, uh, the challenges, uh, there are challenges of both operational, both strategic, both uh, uh, in terms of uncertainties of uh, the markets. But um, people all understand that uh, uh, people, we have to move in this direction. So I think things are moving much more easier today. I must say that the, the whole digital or the transformation into the digital world or the virtual world uh, is something which has been talked about from dot-com days. It is the, the urgency and the necessity and the advantage it is bringing in, the kind of efficiency it is bringing in, is now people can uh, feel it and experience it. So it is no more a myth or no more a story. People really understand that. So our uh, journey in this transformation is to enable the value-based economy we call it as. But that means the um, existence of you are exploiting a customer because the ignorance of the customer or ignorance of they don't know about it, those things are going away. The world is becoming more and more transparent. So enabling a transparent world with much more value-based uh, transaction engagement, not only in financial industry, across multiple industry, is our, our journey. That's, what we are, uh, that's the journey which we are making. Blockchain is not about blockchain per se, the whole philosophy underneath called the distributed ledger. 
the uh, the need to keep your information at multiple places. This this were this kind of approaches were already existing in different technological state. But the benefit of that, especially within the context of cyber uh, uh, security and uh, the uh, one point of failure, uh, is causing phenomenal um, uh, you know impact on uh, on people's lives take the case of yahoo incident recently 500 million accounts getting compromised you know at one place because it is kept but if the information dissipated over multiple uh, locations and that it also has built in uh, um, protocol or mechanism to uh, to be um, you know theft proof I mean that kind of philosophy is going to definitely going to impact the world. So I would say the blockchain in India, a lot of companies are investing a lot of energy uh, and uh, effort in building uh, uh, platforms and solutions on it. And not only that, I would say I see that across the globe. So to me, blockchain is an exciting opportunity. The philosophy, the mechanism would change in the future. We are seriously working on certain areas, uh, helping, uh, utilizing those uh, approaches within our own platforms and also helping uh, our customers to deal with uh, that kind of uh, deployments uh, and utilizing that as a mechanism going forward.